Dave Parody here with another slide makeover video podcast based on the ideas in my book, The Visual Slide Revolution. Today's slide is one that was sent to me earlier this year for a workshop, and it is a great example of the uh, the attempt that people make to explain changes in financial situations or, or year to year. Let me take uh, take you into this slide. So what they're trying to show in this slide is what has contributed to a difference between the budget in 2007 and 2008. And uh, what is a typical approach is to use a stacked column graph. And in this case, you see it's, it's decreasing. So they've decreased the budget in this particular area. And each of the portions of that stacked column represents one of the items. Unfortunately, because they are using a, a graph that has a legend, you've got these tiny bits of color and these shades and colors over in the legend, which makes it really hard to figure out uh, what is what. And you're not really sure how much each section is contributing. You can see the the sort of rust color is, is the largest section, but which one is that uh, in the legend? So it, it becomes very difficult to, to figure it out. What you can do is make it a lot clearer by changing the way that you use a graph. You still use a graph in, in PowerPoint, but you use it in a slightly different way. Let me show you what I did for them. So we have a, a variety of areas that have contributed to our cost savings this year over last year. The largest area are, is a reduction in our costs in the CRE and IPP project uh, by $13.5 million. Our non-controllable costs, we've been able to reduce those by $1.6 million. Our DRP costs contributed $200,000. And plan-related and legal fees, $300,000. So the total savings is $15.6 million from last year in this year's budget. So what we've done here is we have made it far easier for people to understand how this total is being calculated, exactly how much each of these areas is contributing to that total. And this, in case you're wondering, this actually is a built-in type of graph. Uh, you're just using a, a stacked uh, column, in this case stacked column. You could do stacked bar if you wanted to go sideways, but a stacked column graph, and we're building it but it is built in PowerPoint. This is no fancy graphics or stuff that you can't do on your own. So let's look at the lessons when we're explaining and what I call this is accumulation of changes. So we're trying to show an overall change and how that uh, is accumulated by the different pieces or segments. First, separate out each change so that you can first of all display it on its own and secondly discuss it so your audience is going to want to probably say hey you know why did that one go up or why did that one go down and you want to be able to discuss that if you put them all on at the same time and they're not broken out then people start to ask different questions they get confused they might uh, come to conclusions that really are not correct so make sure you, each one of them is separated each one of them is built individually so that you can have that discussion with the audience and they should be in some sort of an order. Now sometimes you'll do an order from let's say lowest to highest or highest to lowest if that is, is significant for what you're talking about or it could be that it's organized by department if that's how the org chart for example is put together or there may be some other reasonable way to order it but give it some reasonable order that you can talk about not just random throwing it in and out. Sometimes I've seen when there are some that go up and some that go down. So we'll do all the, the items in one direction, then we'll do all the items in the other direction, coming to the conclusion. So it makes sense when we're talking about it and when we're showing it. So give the show the accumulation. In, in, in the columns that we shown, we, we show in this particular example, it was all going down. So we showed how far the first one went down, then the second one started from that point and showed the further accumulation in whichever direction. In this case there was only one direction, but I have seen them and worked on them with clients where it goes, again, all in one direction or all in another direction or a mix of them. And finally, at the end, have a summary column so that people don't have to do the math. If they are having to add up all these numbers, it, they'll, they'll, uh, unlikely they're going to do it properly because they're trying to do it quickly in their head and or they'll just give up and they won't and they'll just guess. So make sure you summarize it at the end so you control the message. You make sure you have the right message 
at the end. So when you're explaining changes, uh, especially this relates to financial changes, where you have the numbers, show that accumulation in the way that we've uh, talked about in today's uh, makeover so that your audience clearly understands the message and is easy for them to discuss it and accept what it is that you're saying. For more information on the book, go to www.visualsliderevolution.com. For more information on my training workshops, consulting, videos, other resources, you can go to my website at www.thinkoutsidetheslide.com. This has been Dave Parody with another Slide Makeover video podcast.